After the snoot, the next control accessory is the honeycomb grid. In the Ellingcrom system we have two sizes, the 18cm and the 21cm. They fit straight into the reflectors, like this. The 18cm are supplied as a 12, a 20 and a 30 degree grid, each one giving a different sized pool of light. It's easy to understand what a honeycomb grid does if I hold it in front of my face. Now we know that light travels in straight lines, so if I hold the grid flat to the camera, you can see my face, but if I turn it, then the view disappears. Because the light doesn't bend round a corner. So it follows that if I put this onto the front of a head, the light will be a parallel beam unable to go out sideways. Let's shine the light onto my background and I'll hold the grids in front so you get the idea. This is the 30 degree. The 20 gives a smaller pool of light. And finally the 12 degree. You can see that we also have a soft graduated edge to the pool of light, unlike the hard edge of the bare snoot. The size is controlled by a combination of the thickness of the grid and the size of the individual holes. Let's look at the 21cm set. Like the smaller ones, the grids fit straight into the reflector and we have a 12, 20 and 30 degree. But we also have an 8 degree grid, which as you can see gives a very small pool of light. I fitted the 20 degree grid into the head. We have a soft edge pool of light in the centre of the background, creating a vignette type effect to give depth. By angling the light down, I can make a graduated background. With the 21cm accessory holder, I can pop in a filter gel and change the colour of the light, like this. I can also fit up to four individual barn doors to the accessory holder to mask off areas of light. If I want to fit a gel into the smaller size, I just tuck the corners of the gel under the grid before pushing it into the reflector. Of course honeycombs can also be used as a hair or backlight to rim light my subject. I'm Chris Burfoot, thanks for watching.